Grilling is an art form, one might say. It takes a special type of skill, a special type of dad to achieve. Grilling is an ability one is born with. One does not simply learn how to grill. It has to be in your blood, in your lifeline. In your soul. I come from a long generation of grillers. Of course. My father grilled, my father's father grilled. One could say that we are the heirs in a long line of grillers, that we must take the torch and start grilling ourselves. I brought my very own grill master here to teach me the ropes and show me what's going on under the hood of the grill. The worm has turned. And the proof is in the pudding. It's summertime, baby. Let's get the grill on. Hot in Massachusetts, trust me, let me tell you, it is fucking hot. It's a good in 85 Massachusetts. degrees yeah. today, man. We're about to head ourselves to the mother freaking grocery store because we're about to go pick up uh, meats. Some meats. We need meats for this video. What meats are we getting today, Moses? Some burgers, maybe a nice New York strip, bone in ribeye, pork tenderloin, something marinated. Probably some chicken too, like a bone in chicken breast. I'm looking for some meats that are gonna get me excited for summer. Okay. I want summer meats, Moses. Time to lather up and lather the go. Back to oh, the man. selfie uh, cam. <laughs> Straight to the meat department. <laughs> We're gonna get the New York strip and the ribeye, and that should be pretty good. We have the meats now. So now we gotta drive back and we gotta start grilling. Preparing the meats. Preparing the meats. I'm a simple man. We're in the preparation section of the of the video. What the fuck? Uh, we got to prepare the meats and make it all tip top. So right now Moses has got some chicken out. Make sure you wash the chicken beforehand. You want the chicken clean. Any free of any slime or goop that comes off. So the first thing we're gonna do with our chicken is actually prepare a base for it. We gotta put the, the sauce on it. We're gonna take a few tablespoons of butter here. Oh, Jesus. To the butter, I'm adding a pinch of ground tarragon, a little bit of garlic powder, one bay leaf. A bay leaf! A leaf made of bay. And then a few peppercorns. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna melt and sort of cook off and you're gonna get all these beautiful herbs and spices in there and that's gonna get brushed onto the chicken as it cooks. All right guys, so the next step right here is to liberally season both sides. I'm chicken. gonna liberally season both sides. This is my specific idea. Check this out, liberal. No, it's fine if it's in there because it's gonna... You don't have to tenderize the meat, Ted. Why? The chicken's already tender. Time to make this thing pretty salty. Don't be afraid of the salt. Too many people don't salt things enough. Give it a flip. Give it a little flip. Oh, oh, oh wow, that's blood. That's bony. It's getting peppered. Beautiful. Perfect. You can do the honors. Nope, what do you need to do? There you go. Boom, yeah, there we go. First we salt it, and then Moses, assault it. It's an important aspect of-, of You gotta slap that seasoning in there. If you don't slap it, the seasoning doesn't- Penetrate the core of the yeah, chicken. Yeah, exactly. Next, we're gonna prepare the steaks. Oh, look at this boy. Please. Look at this guy. You're about to get grilled, bitch. You, you're not Salt Bay, okay? What? You're not Salt Bay. Who's that? The mean guy, who with the- Oh yeah? yeah? Check it out. Woo! So this is our, right here is our ribeye. And this is our New York strip steak. So we're gonna we're gonna solve both of these boys. Oh, oh, oh! He's smacking it with the knife. Just you wait, Ted. Just you wait. What don't don't point it. Give me that. I could take a bite of that, that'd be fine. I mean You wanna bet? Ted. Ted. Should I? No. So now we've got we've got the uh, the beef here. No, and no. It's supposed to go in the bowl, you mongoloid. 
There you go. The beef is here. The burgers are the easiest part, because really all we're gonna do is shake They're the them. most hardest part. Do you wanna work your meat a little bit so that everything sort of combines, it feels incorporated. It's very aggressive. Once it's all sort of worked together, all we're gonna do is just start shaping the patty. Take like uh, a nice handful, and what I want you to do is sort of shape it and roll it. This is pretty epic. Once it feels... And like a little, this is a little mini meat baby. Flatten it out and then take your thumb, create this sort of divot on the inside. Excellent. So now my hands are greasy, but we've made the burgers. We're gonna fire up the grill and we're gonna start cooking our meats. Time for the meat to burn. I'm a simple man. Okay, gang, so we've reached the grilling phase. We've got our good old grill boy here, and it's time to do some, some freaking grilling. Open up the grill here. Light only these two burners right here, and that's gonna be zone okay. one. Beautiful. Epic. The burners are now lit. Zone one, that's our heating zone. Zone two is gonna be this colder area, and that's gonna be where we do indirect cooking. We're gonna let that heat up until this thermometer reads about five, 600 degrees. At that point, we're gonna be able to put the meat down and get the chicken going. Cool. Okay, so it's time to start putting the meats on the grill. Quick step, just to make sure that the grill is hot enough. Take your hand and just hold it over the flame here. Like literally just fucking burn my hand? If you can't hold it there for more than about two seconds, then the grill's hot. Epic. And that's gonna sit there for about five minutes. Seems like we're just gonna have to talk. A lot of grilling is just waiting, Ted. Really? Yeah. That's kind of a pain in the I ass. I mean, it's- What's your favorite favorite type of fruit? Pears. I think they're the most sensual of fruits. Okay. I like a crisp peach or a crisp green grape. How big? Grapes About the size small of a grape. testicle. Okay. Like a larger grape. Yeah, it depends sure. on how big your balls are, I suppose. There's a kind of an average size, isn't there? Do you have the info on you, what the average I mean, size no, of a testicle is? I mean, no, but I can is? Google it. I'm gonna hit you with this. Why? Ow! I was not expecting you to do that. <laughs> How are you doing, chicken? Don't hit the chicken. Don't disrespect the meat, Ted. Pull a little bit. Ooh. Boom, look at that char. We're gonna take the butter. Now it's gonna melt real quick. After it's melted, we're gonna open this baby back up. Give melt. me a hit of this. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that. <laughs> Oh yeah. That looks pretty sizzly if you ask me. I feel pretty sizzled. Welcome to Sizzle Town, population Ted and Moses. <laughs> Indirect heating. Uh, okay. Oh, it's like a big fucking cock. This is the this is the pork tenderloin. This stuff has been pre-prepared. I'm gonna throw you some words and you're gonna tell me what first comes to mind. Right. Beef. Patty. Hickory. Smoked. Chicken. Bacon. Industry. Menswear. Heat. Fire. Now you hit me with some. Hat. Car. Plant. Dog. Pine tree. Eucalyptus. Squirrel. Hit by a car. <laughs> Go ahead and grab that by one end. Then I want you to flip it over so it's facing the same way. Alright? Oh. So we've completed the chicken part. Give him a little view. Ah. Ouch. I don't know why you touched that I don't know why I did hand. either. Jesus, that was painful. Holy you may crap. Have just burned your hand. Here's the chicken. That's what the chicken looks like. That was fucking painful. Ooh and that's just gonna sit wee. there. There we go. That is spicy. Now remember guys, and this is an important aspect of how to make steak. You gotta smack it. Well. That way, the spirit of the grill seeps into the meat. If you don't do that, you're basically just lost in a world of grilling. Ooh, baby. Oh, I can handle the heat, baby. No, don't just do that. I can handle the heat. <laughs> Holy shit. Ted, I'm sorry, the grill master's taking over. It ah. took way too fucking long to handle any wow. of Wow. Holy moly. The situation is under control. <laughs> we have pacified the grill. All right. Ted, you're gonna do the honors here, okay? Are I'm you ready. ready. Do it. Ah. No. Oh, ah. Ah. Get on the fucking plate. Grab it with confidence, Ted. Confidence. Beautiful. Boom! I'm gonna take our patty. And now, we put them into a dungeon. All right, so for cheese, we're gonna make these little gourmet. Shredded Parmesan cheese. They so sound pretty sizzly right about now. About time. Oh! Uh, no. Uh, a cigarette oh. Olga. So we're putting the Parmesan right now on the fucking. Oh. What Already. did you learn from me? I learned that you have no clue how to use a grill. Wrong. This was a test from the very beginning. Oh yeah. Moses has officially passed the test to see if he actually can use a grill. I was testing him the whole time because my brain is large. All right, Ted, pull him off, baby. Ooh, one, four. Oh, uh, Maserati. Wow. No. Oh, man no. down. <laughs> Shit. Okay, guys. So we basically got all of our meats here, and now we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna do the taste test. I'm a simple man, don't wanna complicate ya. 
Okay, gang, we've got the meats here. We've got all the meats and they're ready to go. We've entered the portion where we're trying the meats and seeing how'd we do? Ribeye, nice and pink in the middle here. Nice. Oh, um, that's really good. Mm. Yeah, that tastes like steak. So this is the strip steak. Good, right? Tastes like meat, dude. Mm -hmm. Tastes like good meat. Wow. Oh my. I'm gonna try a burger like this. All right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all meat. It's all, it's all red meat. It comes from most of the same part of the cow. So, we're basically just cooking the same thing. We still have to try the pork tenderloin. It's not, what are you doing? You almost cut yourself. Salt bay. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mmm. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about how to grill, how to keep it spicy, and how to how to put this shit on the open flame because it's a little bit hot in Ted, the kitchen. Ted, did you learn a lot about grilling today? I learned just about as much as you didn't. See you around. Bye. Don't get burned by the grill. Oh.